I've been troubleshooting this reverb tank in the 79 uh, Super Reverb. And at first I had no reverb or it would cut in and cut out. And I found that the old plastic RCA cables, which are, they were cheap in 1979, and the world is not kind to, to plastics over 40 years. They were the problem. So I put in these braided cables. Uh, and the tank is sounding quite nice. But you hear that little sizzle behind? Not sure if that comes through the lav mic. What that is, is that of the four springs in here, one pair and another pair, this pair, the one closer to the camera, has lost tension over the years. And you can see it vibrating there. And that vibration is from the sound of my voice in the room. And any little thing sets that off. And if it's in the cabinet of a combo amp, every bass note will set that off. And it doesn't sound very good. So I'm going to touch both springs. And I'm going to let go gently and watch how long it takes the one closer to the camera to stop vibrating. You can, hopefully you can hear in the, in the mic that chatter. It is an acoustic mechanical thing which is turning into a sound thing. So while I was initially hopeful that it was just a pair of bad plastic cables, literally you can go to the drugstore and get a pair of six foot RCA cables for five bucks that will be just as good as the originals. You don't have to spend 20 or so for these pretty braided ones, so they are pretty. Um, the tank itself is pretty much unusable, which is a shame because aside from that, it sounds quite lovely. And the old Accutronics from the uh, 60s and 70s and 80s are certainly better built than anything you can get today. Um, but I want to show you one more thing aside from the extreme vibration sensitivity of this particular tank. And I'm going to show you that is a, a drift in tank specs and design uh, from the original Gibbs and Accutronics to the ones that are made today. So let's take this out of standby again. And we should still be hearing some reverb crash. Oh. Got to flip this around so the inputs and outputs aren't facing the power transformer. All right, aside from that crashing noise, let's see if you can see it, sorry. Aside from that crashing noise, listen uh, as much as the lav mic allows you to the length of the decay and the high fr in frequency. I'm just gonna do a, a little double stop. Turn the reverb up, make it easier to hear. All right, so there's a good bit of high frequency information. Now I'm just going to do a muted thing, or I'm going to kind of time the silence. The usual part of that decay there was about three and a half seconds. Uh, in, the, in a band context, maybe the first one and a half, two seconds would be most apparent. Let me change out the tank now. All right, this is a, a new mojo tone. So if I do that same kind of staccato thing, About five seconds. And that hum is due to sensitivity to the transformers. So I'm going to do that again. About five seconds. The first maybe two and a half, three are really apparent. Do that again without the sustain note. 
But if I play that double stop, there's less high frequency information and a bit more lower mids. Now, that's crucial because this is actually the Mojo Tone medium decay tank, and the old Gibbs and Accutronics used in Fenders were the long decay tank. If you use a modern uh, long decay tank, it's much longer and much darker than the old long decay tanks. Of the ones on the market, and I about two, three years ago, I guess it is now, I bought like a dozen different reverb tanks for fenders and tried all of them out with the looper pedal and all that fun stuff. And of everything on the market, these Mojo Tone medium decays are the closest in sound to the old Gibbs Accutronics long decays. But even within this one product, they vary in length and they vary in high frequency content and they vary in low mids content. So there are better sounding and worse sounding ones within that range. As far as I can tell, there are two plants that make uh, reverb tanks today. There's one plant that makes the uh, Belton Accutronics style, and that one has little quick connects on the transducers. So the, there are quick connects on the transducers which go to the RCA plugs. And there's a plant that makes the Mojo Tone, the MOD, and the Tube Amp Doctor, and I think maybe the Ruby. And those have the inductors, uh, sorry, transducers, uh, hardwired to the RCA jacks. Those are the higher quality. Um, as far as I know, the Mojo Tone, the MOD, uh, the Tube Amp Doctor, are made in the same factory, uh, ostensibly to slightly different specs by the vendor or the person who's branding them. Uh, I don't know how much there is a difference between an MOD and a Tube Amp Doctor. Uh, from the outside, they look the same. They sound very similar. The Mojo Tone Medium Decay of all those is the closest, generally, to an old Accutronics from, the, say, the 70s or 60s, but it is not the same. Um, this Medium Decay tank has a longer decay than most original long decay tanks, and it is certainly a little bit darker. And a little bit uh, more low inf uh, frequency information. Now, a lot of us who do this kind of thing have taken to changing certain aspects of the amp circuit. Say in an AB763 uh, Fender, we may go from a 500 picofarad uh, reverb driver coupling cap with the one meg uh, grid leak there to like a 330 picofarad with a 470k or 330k, which will uh, both give a little less strength to the tank, which shortens the decay, and rolls off some of the low frequency stuff. And you can also change the coupling cap on the uh, return stage, the makeup gain stage, which uh, will also attenuate some of the low, low mids and you can even do some little uh, bright cap tricks to bring some of that sparkle back. But there is nothing on the market, even the good ones like this, that sound like the old ones. So if you're really into reverb, reverb, and, no pun intended, and eBay and such await. You can find Accutronics tanks from the 70s and 80s that won't necessarily cost an arm and a leg, but much more than the $20 to $40 most modern tanks will cost you. So it depends on how much you use reverb. This is not a bad sound, but it is not as good as the original, aside from that vibration issue the original was having.